So let's talk now about the impact of coronavirus on people who need care in their own home. The government is expected to announce new guidelines very soon. But what should companies do in the meantime? Emma Bohr has been talking to a care provider near Stansted with hundreds of staff and thousands of people to look after. Senior care worker Sharon Sullivan on the front line. Hand washing has always been a crucial part of her job, all the more so now. We're being quite vigilant about how we provide our care. Um, but for us, yeah, we just literally are communicating with our service users and explaining to them um, what it's about, not to worry, not to panic and reassure them that we are um, prepared. There you go, Pamela, a lovely cup of tea for you. Thank you. Pamela gets two care visits a day. She doesn't venture out much, but still has um, concerns. Worried, really, yeah. I, well, I went to hospital and some somebody went in to who thought he'd got it and they took him to another hospital and then I kept thinking to myself oh I hope I'm not there's somebody in there the same you know. At the company's office staff get training on how easily viruses can be spread. I'm just going to put a little bit of this germ powder onto your hands because uh, a lot of viruses are spread actually by uh, touch and contact. They use UV lights to highlight germs. They're well used to infection control and that helps to keep staff and clients safe. The service is operating normally. You know, we have a duty of care. Uh, we take our duty of care really uh, seriously and we are very conscious that we're dealing with the most vulnerable people in the community and also that we need to support the NHS. Nationally, there's been concerns that not enough is being done to support the care industry and it's not been properly included in the NHS planning. But the government insists that plans are in place, an army of volunteers could be recruited and the most at risk could be cocooned to stop them catching the virus. The County Council has launched a hotline for care providers and a hand washing campaign. For Sharon, it's on to the next visit, using her skills to keep both her and the people she cares for safe. Emma Bohr, BBC Look East. It's quite scary, that thing on your hands, isn't it? How many 